Welcome back. You know him as Agent Fox Mulder on the X Files or maybe Hank Moody in Californication, but you can also call him a best selling author. David Duchovny has just released his fifth book, Reservoir, and he is live with us today. David, what a pleasure, sir. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to jump into this. You know, most people don't know before you were an actor, you went to Princeton for English literature. I'm sort of curious, is there a part of you that always felt like writing is kind of what you were meant to be doing? And how did you go from English lit to acting? Uh, it, was all, it was all reversing things in, in my life. Uh, I, I got into acting through thinking I was going to be a playwright. So I actually got into acting through through my idea of writing because I thought if I'm going to write plays or screenplays, then I should I should learn something about saying the words about acting, and that kind of took me in a certain direction for a long time. But always, fundamentally, I'd been a reader and a lover of literature and thought that I would try to contribute something in that area at some point. So that's that's where I've come back to. I love that. You know, so much of part of this novel is about how a man's life was affected by quarantine during the pandemic, which is something I think many people watching right now can relate to. So how do you think the pandemic affected you as an author or you as an actor or just you as a person? Um, I, I think that's it's kind of, this book is kind of my trying to work through through that effect on me and, and by, by way of me, uh, all of us, hopefully if I can hit on something universal. But my my state of mind was so strange as, as, as we all were because the whole world was on fire and we were watching a million things happen through our screens without human contact. And yet locking down, there was nothing happening in one's personal life. So everything was happening more than ever outside and nothing on the inside because we were just locked down. And that was a strange kind of vertigo that I think affected us all. Uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, I can't let you go without geeking out about the X Files, which is one of the greatest series in the history of television. My favorite episodes are Home and Postmodern Prometheus. I'm sort of curious, what are the episodes most fans want to talk to you about when they approach you on the street, and what is your own favorite personal episode? Actually, uh, well, I, I just did a book event in Seattle last night, and a woman had her fingernails painted uh, as the postmodern Prometheus. So I think you 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 have uh, uh, a simpatico fan out there as well. Yes. Um, they'll, they'll want to talk to me about uh, either that one they love or the baseball one, the unnatural that I did because they know that I, that I wrote it. Or um, there's one that was actually pulled from the rotation of, uh, of network television called Home yes. because it was just too disturbing. And they like to talk about that one because it's kind of disappeared. It's so good. Oh, it's, it's honestly that and Home and Postmodern Prometheus are my two favorites. Uh, you're going to be uh, in Chicago at the Harold Washington Library Center where people can come out and meet you and have their books signed. Uh, so I know that's yeah. going to be huge and we're really excited about that. Um, so feel free if you want to hang out while you're here. I've got a very comfortable fallout couch so, so we can all just hang out together. <laughs> I'm, I'm always down for that. Thank Excellent. You. David, seriously, an absolute honor, man. I'm such a fan. I appreciate your time. We're going to go to break, but seriously, thank you very much.